Hi, I'm Tara. Today I'm going to show you how to do a three-dimensional text. Really quick, really easy. So let's get going. So the first thing we're going to choose is our size. So I'm going to go custom size 1280 by 720, but you can pick whatever size suits your project best. So once we have our size selected, we're going to select a text box. So we either select text and add a text box, or you can just hit T on your keyboard. It will bring you to the same effect. So we are going to type vintage but this can be whatever word you like so and i'm gonna select a font called amazon which is kind of nice and scripty so i'm going to do it in reverse so uh, this will be the very back layer so i'm going to change i'm going to do kind of like a rust effect so the color I'm going to change it to is, I think we'll go with this kind of color here. Maybe, maybe a bit darker actually. Okay. So like a kind of, yeah, dark, dark brown. So it's hashtag 8F4014, just in case you're wondering. So basically what we're going to do is just going to keep duplicating it. Duplicate, duplicate. I'm just going to keep moving them slightly so it has to be just selected and we're going to duplicate again so we want them all like sitting on top of each other but just like slightly slightly off to one side so we don't necessarily want that big um this kind of shutter here so we're going to go position and we're going to go layers and this is the very back layer and then this one so that's why we need quite a few of them just going to lock that one actually and then we'll go for the next one and then we lock that one and then we we'll go to the next one and lock again and then the one at the very back move up like so so it depends how much of a like 3d effect you actually want so i'm just going to unlock each of them and then we'll just go back down to so we currently have five of that layer i might just do one more just just to be sure and then we're going to duplicate it one more time. But this time we're going to change the color to a kind of yellowy white. So uh, we'll just make it yellow and then we're just going to click on the multicolor and bring it into, it's like a, a cream. Okay. So we don't want we don't want to be able to see uh, the brown on both sides. So we're just going to move it slightly. And that's pretty cool. So then we are going to add a background to it. If we click in elements and then we're going to search for a rust background. Let's see, and we're going to go photos. And I quite like this one. It is a pro picture, but there's there's plenty that aren't. So um, I think it looks pretty effective. And we can right click and set image as background. So the next thing I'm just gonna do is put a swish underneath this. So you can search for swish line. And if you search in graphics, I think I'm going to pick this one. So not all of them have this facility available, but most of them do, that you can actually change the color of them. So we're going to make it the same color as the drop shadow on the vintage, on the, on the word vintage. Okay. And again, we're just going to duplicate that a couple of times. And again. And one more time, maybe. And then we're going to 
do the same color then as the, the text to make it look three dimensional as well, which it's pretty effective, I think. So we have our text and our swirl done, but this could easily then be changed into a logo. So I just, so we just search for truck and in graphics. Now I might go retro truck actually. Retro and there's one there. It's kind of nice. And we're just going to reduce the size of it. And again, because it's a graphic, we can change the, the color of it. So we're going to go for, I just make sure that it's the same as the text, which is kind of nice. And then I'm just going to add one more little text box. So click on text, add a text box. And we're going to say truck repair company. Put this down here. And I'm going to change the font on it to Rubik. There's a load of Rubik ones actually. They're, um, it's a really good font because there's loads of different kind of variations on it. But we're going to go for Rubik Dirt. And it's kind of see through, it's kind of nice. And again, I'm going to change the color of it to the same as the. It kind of doesn't look like the same. Hold on, we just check that. There we go. Okay. So I'll put that in there. And then all of a sudden, in, in really short space of time, you have like a logo done and your that could be your branding so obviously this is for a truck repair company but it could be for anything like all it takes is a tiny bit of creativity and um and you can change it to something completely different i'll just show you how to do that so instead of this we're gonna go for into elements again and we're gonna go denim background so we're just gonna pick this one and again, we're just going to put it in the corner, right, and set image as background. So with the brown, it looks like kind of totally crazy. But so we're just going to move that up there for a sec. We're going to select all of these brown and we're going to change them to a kind of dark blue. So I might just make it a bit darker than that. You can pick one of the colors from the vintage either. Um, Canva does this really good thing that it separates all the colors that is in an image. Um, so that's probably pretty good. And again, just put your top layer back. So we don't need the truck. So I'm going to change the, the text in this to clothing company, but I think I'll have to actually change the whole font because it doesn't really work with the den denim. So I'm just going to go clothing company and we'll change it to We'll change it to maybe alpha slab one. What does that look like? But we might need to change the font color as well. So that looks pretty good. And then we might just put a little heart there as well. And then the only other thing we need to change is all the colors on the swish. To the dark blue. More. So dark blue. Down and then just bring the white color down on top. Select them all and put them back in that space. So as I say, it's totally versatile. It doesn't matter what um what your company is or what your um, business is. You can use this for any word and for any kind of business. It works really well. So I just want to show you quickly how to use the text extrude app within Canva. So it does the same kind of thing, but I think doing it manually actually works better and looks better. 
Now I'll just show you how to find it. So you go into apps and you type type extrude or if you just type type it, it'll come up either. So once you click on the little green icon, it'll ask you what you want your word to be. So we're going to go vintage and this is why it doesn't work as well because we used a font called Amazon and and it doesn't have it. So it's a bit like um, some of the other apps within Canva, like the Gradient app and stuff. Not all the fonts are always available within the little apps. So you'd have to go and pick a different, a different kind of script or a different, different font in order to use the app. So even if we just go Allura123, just show you how it works. So there, this is what you end up with. So you can have the border width at, you can change the border width, you can change the angle of the, of the shadow and you can also change the length. And obviously you can change the colors. So we wanted ours to be a kind of rusty color. So we just do that. Oh, it was a bit darker than that, I think. Maybe like that. Okay. And then add to design. So like, yeah, obviously <laughs> it does it much quicker, but I kind of like, I, I looked at a couple of them and they're, a, they're a bit chunky kind of on the edges. You don't get it as smooth as if you were just going to do, do it the other way, like as in stack, stack them on top of each other. So yeah, absolutely. It's a quick and easy way of doing it. But you do have to be mindful of that kind of um, shutter look and also that you can't have whatever font you want from your list. If you've learned something new today, please hit that like and subscribe.